Metro bassin' kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Welcome back to Retro Bassin. Welcome to Retro Bassin. I hope that you are doing well wherever you are in the U.S. or beyond. Um, hopefully in the last stages of this crazy run we've had for the past uh, couple months. If you're anything like me, when you can't get out on the water, there's basically two things you do. Uh, one, you spend about half your time on YouTube, searching through all the different uh, new school and old school fishing videos. And secondly, you spend the other half checking out Vintage Tackle online. I have been knee deep uh, in the eBay as of late and I've gotten a few things that have come in the mail but I have declined to open. Um, had a few requests after the last video to do a, another mail call. So I'm gonna open in some stuff. I know some of the things that are coming, I've forgotten some of the others. If this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking classic rods, reels, baits, and equipment from the golden era of bass fishing. Consider subscribing and hit that bell icon. That way you know when we post a new video. There's a ton of my Retro Bassin buddies out there that have some equipment they would like to see featured on Retro Bassin. And for that, we've secured a Retro Bassin P.O. box and I'm gonna put that information down below in the video description. Um, if you want your stuff back, just make sure you put in a uh, return envelope um, postmarked. I will either just show it here in a little mail call, maybe I'll take it fishing if you want me to, and let me know um, as much as you can about the history of what it is you're sending. A lot of this stuff um, I've seen once or twice, but I don't know a ton about. And let's be honest, uh, the internet is not a team with information on 1978 um, fishing worms. So anyway, so I will drop that information down below for the Retro Bassin uh, P.O. Box. You all can check it out. Um, in the meantime, let's get on it. Ah, I know what this one is. So I came across a, a lot of old school Rabble Rouser crankbaits and topwaters. I'd never fished with Rabble Rouser a ton. Um, it's got a pretty iconic look. It's got this big giant eye of a bait. I've been wanting to pick up a few for a while and I found, uh, found a, a few that are probably going to be coming today. Okay, so here's the first one. Looks like that's a little rabble rouser crankbait. There's the icon. So rabble rouser lures by Doug Parker in Fort Smith, Arkansas. These are some cool baits. So let's see what else we got. Quite some interesting packaging here. <laughs> Just a paper towel. I want to see what's in here. Oh, cool. I'll check that out. It's like a rabble rouser top water of some sort. Oh, and it's got like a little weight or a rattle on the back. I think that will catch fish. Teasin Voodoo. This is called a Rooter, but I gotta get rid of the paper towel. Whoever sent this to me, thank you for the packaging job, by the way. Okay, check this thing out. This is a pretty cool bait. It is a crankbait, of course, with just one of the wildest looking heads I've ever seen. It's got an interesting sort of carved out, it's hard to see in this black model, but this carved out little nose here. Rattles. Sweet. I don't fish a uh, black crankbait a ton, but this will give it a whirl. <laughs> I've got a couple of uh, couple of rabble rousers. Nice. Ooh, some more wrapped up stuff. Good package jobs, by the way, all around today.
I'll show it to you once I get the hooks exposed. Ow! So there's a nice vintage sonar. Check that thing out. I love the packaging, by the way. I gotta show you this. All right, you guys gotta check this ad out. It says, the new way to find fish and catch them. Sonar with deadly ACDC technology. Check out that little insert. Be a master angler. Honestly, that was worth it right there. That is awesome. It's like an old comic book. We are gonna be fishing with his sonar. One of our home lakes here on Retro Bassin is notorious for schooling bass that are really hard to catch. They'll set up literally in the middle of the lake, they'll start busting like crazy, and they will not hit the vast majority of lures. I've got a feeling I could probably get them to bite on a head and sonar. So let's see if I've got, oh. A few more sonars in there. Oh, no. No, this one's not a sonar. Head and spin fin. That guy would catch a school and bass too. Look at that. The head and spin fin. I've never even heard of that. I'm actually scared to fish with that because that is so pretty, but I might have to. Check that out. That thing would smoke some school and bass. I think I might have to do a head and episode, by the way. I've got some crazy head and lures that I... Just like with most head and stuff, I'm scared to fish it a lot of the time, but... Um, they have some amazing designs, and, and some of them, I don't even know how they act in the water. Okay, so we have a second sonar. I think this one, if I recall, yeah, it was a cool yellow color that we got. It's a good looking sonar there. Check this one out. It's so funny though, it's been a hot minute since I ordered these and I've pretty much forgotten half of this stuff. This is like COVID Christmas. Uh, okay. There was a craze in the 1980s where they would blend a hard bait with a soft bait. Berkeley had one of those baits, I forget the name of it, and it was similar, it was a Berkeley power bait on the back and a crank bit on the front. Culprit, I'm pretty sure, followed suit with this thing called the soft cranker. Check that out. It's a rattle trap design on the front with a soft worm style body on the back in the shape of rattle trap. These things fish pretty cool. It fishes like a rattle trap, but that back undulates in a quite uh, exciting fashion. Oh, there's a soft cranker and a shad pattern. Check it out. Unlike a traditional rattle trap, these things do come with just one hook. But I've got a feeling a fish could swallow that thing a little bit better because of the uh, soft nature of the design. Speaking of rattle traps. So a rattle trap's a weird bait. It hasn't changed much at all since they first came out. So to find something quote unquote vintage with it is kind of tough. They do have the diving rattle traps, um, which I've ordered before. Now, here's the color pattern of the rattle traps that I don't really remember fishing with a ton. They're called the all new 
Hot Tails. Looks like a normal color pattern bait, basically with the rear end dipped in a solid color. There's a chartreuse version. I have no idea. I'll throw these though. I used to kill some striped bass with a rattle trap back in the day. Back when I actually used to, you know, catch fish. Ragile. Must be an Italian bait. These are more rabble rousers in the top water variety. I kind of went on a bit of a rabble rouse, a rampage. Uh, <laughs> rabble rousers patented top water. I just love that logo. All right, we'll check this thing out. So this, while that first rabble rouser was more of a Zara spook, this looks like more version of a pop bar, except that thing is gonna be doing way more diving than popping. I have no idea how that thing's gonna fish. It floats, it's quote unquote a top water. But you know as well as I do, that thing is gonna be going down a foot or two when you jerk it. That'll be fun though, nice uh, Texas red color. We will try that for sure. Ah, retro book in here. This thing I got just for the cover. Check out this book. It's called The Introduction to Bait Fishing. I just love that. Look at that. I thought it was frame that thing. <laughs> I don't do a ton of bait fishing, obviously, but um, that's a good looking book. Uh, reviving the simple ways, uh, how to get, keep, select, attach, cast, retrieve, play, all kinds of natural baits for bigger catches in lakes, streams, offshore surf, and jetty by Ray Ovington. All right, how old is this book? Oh, Harrisburg, PA. That's pretty funny. Nineteen seventy-one. All right. We might have to do a bait fishing episode on this thing. Check that out. For just fishing enthusiasts, beginners, and keen sportsmen, solid how-to facts on presenting fish with the food they naturally feed on. From first catch to netting and landing. Introduction to bait fishing. Nice. This is like a mail call fail. Great deal of electronic toothbrushes. It's a book. I was thoroughly confused there. Just open something inappropriate on Richard Benson. Okay, another book. This is a cool book. I don't know if people used to be smaller back in the day, but every book from like the 60s and 50s they're tiny. <laughs> Check this thing out. The Golden Guide to Fishes. All right, this one's for the kiddos. Oh, that's actually, there's some insane graphics on this thing. Yeah. This book is going to definitely require a walkthrough at some point. Let's see if there's anything about a large mouthed bass in here. Here's our buddy. It's the large mouth bass, small mouth bass. Spotted bass. Right there. Let's see what it says about Mr. Bass that I did not know. Often called the finest of all freshwater game fish. They are a member of the sunfish family, I knew this which includes 30 species of warmer uh, lakes and ponds. Um, all members of the family have a single dorsal fin, spiny soft dorsals, all build nests. Yeah, we miss that. Um, 
The sunfish are widely distributed and some have been transplanted outside to their native eastern waters. Uh, just ask Mandibu Karita about that. Um, largemouth bass. When young, um, on the side has a dark stripe which disappears as the fish matures. I don't catch many of those mature fish, as you've noticed. The mouth is large and extends back beyond the eye. Foods are mainly crawfish and small fish. Largemouth and smallmouth bass are top game fish, and both have been introduced uh, west of the Rockies. They get to eight pounds. Uh, larger in the south, well, we should hope so. Cool book. So Peter McKinnon's got nothing on my coffee b-roll. Or wait, I meant, meant the other way around. So one of the coolest things about moving to Texas is that I felt like I moved into um, really sacred ground as far as bass fishing goes. There's so much bass fishing history in the South, in Texas, in Tennessee, in Louisiana. And one of the spots on the bucket list, which has not happened yet, but as soon as this COVID thing gets through, um, it's there, is to go visit the Queen Lore Factory out in Tyler, Texas. I might actually be out there uh, in a couple weeks. One of the cool things about the history of Cream is it's not just one company, it was actually two. We had Cream Lure Company with, of course, Nick Cream, but then there was another one called Night Lures. Uh, they made a bait called the Tube Worm. Well, Night Lures ultimately ended up acquiring Cream, and now those two companies are fused into one. Night Lures was a cool one. So they were always based in Texas, lesser known for sure, but they had some awesome baits like this thing, the Night Lure's Pigtail. Uh, I wish I got more than one pack of this. I don't know that I'm going to have the heart to ever open this and fish with it. And I've, ne I've been scouring the internet for pigtails, and this was all I found. You can tell by the way this thing is curled up, that thing is going to have some insane action. This would be a great summertime bait. When I do go to the cream factory, I'm going to bring this. Um, we'll see if, uh, I bet they haven't seen this over there in quite a while. But what an awesome bait, the pigtail. Alright, I might open it. <laughs> Drop a comment down below. If you really, really want me to open it, I will, but I'd rather not. Mother load of rabble rousers. These are all the same color, but it is the rabble rouser RB3 crankbait. The rowdy. Honestly, these things are totally gonna catch fish. I'm I'm pretty sure of it. Look at how beautiful that bait is. Oh. Now that is a little dive in lip. I think this thing probably does get under three feet. Very vintage of a rebel color pattern there with the blue chrome, the line sides, white belly. That's awesome. Okay, so we got this one's the RB4, so we'll check this guy out and see what the difference is. I think this is the deep diver, if I do recall. Yep, it is. But in an insane color. Check that out, what a color. So that is a green back chrome. More substantial lip. Of course, goldened with age. Almost a one knock sound to it. Oh wait, there's an RB5 in here. So this must be the deep diver. No, that's a short one, too. Oh, I'm just confused now. Maybe that's the wrong box. That's cool. Well, last but not least, I do know what this one is. <laughs> and I'm pretty excited about it. You know, there was a time when Bass Pro Shops would give you a free catalog, or maybe you had to spend 3 bucks uh, to get them. 
Obviously, when you're trying to get something that's, you know, 30 plus years old, that might change a little bit. But there, to me, is something magical about looking back through an old school Bass Pro Shops catalog and seeing what secrets lied in there. This is a 1986 master catalog. This was, I think, pretty much the first catalog that I ever had my hands on as a kid. There's just so much insanity in here. Ugh, I should just do like a live stream and I can just like flip through this. So there's a spread for the head and sonar, which we just picked up. Pretty sweet. Let's check out the apparel section. There's gotta be something good in there. <laughs> That is a good looking cat right there. <laughs> wow. Check her out. It's probably 90 now. There's just a lot of goodness on this page. The old shelf work shirt, it's a classic. And support your local hookers. You used to get away with a lot more. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I get arrested wearing that now. Oh, can you imagine a Waylon if I showed up with this? Bass Busters. <laughs> he disowned me. He was already close. In the comment section down below, let me know what is your favorite ever purchase from an old school Bass Pro Shops catalog. And let me know what of the baits that you see today you most want me to fish with. Until next time, stay safe and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin'.